Welcome to Learn Biology and today we're discussing a mind-blowing concept known as parthenogenesis. So what is parthenogenesis? Well it is a process by which an unfertilized egg forms into an offspring. Now if you're not familiar with regular reproduction, here's a brief uh, concept or introduction. Well so we have reproduction. How it's supposed to work. So, reproduction. We have an egg from a female. So we have an egg. So, egg. And we have a sperm cell from a male. And what occurs is that the sperm collides with the female egg and they form a cell, a combined cell which has the egg's DNA and the sperm's DNA and this is known as a zygote a fertilized egg a fertilized egg okay parthenogenesis is an unfertilized egg regular is a fertilized egg now this zygote which has the DNA from the female which is the mom and the sperm which has the dad's DNA this DNA is all combined in the zygote the zygote then replicates like a regular cell so it goes from zygote to millions of cells and soon we have an offspring and we'll use a baby here so that is how we come along now parthenogenesis so parthenogenesis and we'll just write parth here what occurs is that we have a female egg so female egg and this egg which has no father so no father forms into an offspring that is parthenogenesis and it's mind-blowing now what creatures undergo this well we have the uh, Indian stick bug we have the honeybees some honeybees aphids and so on and then we have the Komodo dragon which uses parthenogenesis so we go from a female egg to a Komodo dragon and how does this work well before we go into that we need to understand what meiosis is if you're uh, if you could uh, please check out me, uh, my other video on meiosis which goes into depth but we need to understand meiosis what meiosis does is that it produces sex cells so produces sex cells so the egg in the female the egg and the sperm in the male now meiosis has uh, produces these specialized sex cells so eggs and sperm which contain half of the DNA of the to be offspring what this means is that let's say a uh, an, an animal has 10 chromosomes so 10 chromosomes chromosomes the so let's say this uh, insect has 10 chromosomes what's supposed to occur is that the egg will have five chromosomes and the sperm will have the other five so when they fuse together we will have our ten chromosomes that's how it's supposed to work in meiosis and how it works now in parthenogenesis let's say we'll use our ten chromosome insect we have ten chromosomes in meiosis, the uh, parthenogenesis, meiosis, will create s cells or eggs with 10 chromosomes instead of 5. So it is modified to create the whole amount of cells necessary to have an offspring. So now we have these cells which have 10, which have this uh, cell which has 10 
chromosomes, so 10 chromosomes that we need to make an offspring. What occurs is that this 10 chromosome cell acts like it is a zygote. So it acts like a zygote, acts like a zygote, and it begins replicating into a new organism. It starts replicating using mitosis and it replicates into a organism so we'll just draw a bug here and this occurs because the biological clock is tricked in the cell this cell acts like it is a zygote so it acts like a zygote and this when it acts like a zygote the biological clock within the cell say hey it's time to create a new organism and they start Replic uh, splitting into more cells and soon to be a bug and this biological clock is tricked by heat so heat meaning sunlight or it could be pricked by something like the egg could be pricked by something like a needle or a thorn or something or it could be chemically induced by the cell itself and it would activate this replication so the cell then it reproduces and we have our insect so that is parthenogenesis a mind-blowing concept by which an unfertilized egg a, an egg without a father replicates into an organism and parthenogenesis mostly creates female offspring so the egg transforms into a female offspring so female offspring so thank you for watching learn biology and I hope uh, you understood the uh, marvels of parthenogenesis and remember that this is still not fully understood by scientists it is still very puzzling so thank you for watching and we'll see you next time